Morning everybody, I hope you're keeping safe and well. I thought I'd just pop on here today and do something a little bit different to my usual videos um, and actually talk to you about what I've been doing painting uh, wise uh, during lockdown. So as you can see I'm in, uh, not in a studio but I'm in my back room and I will talk refer to that um, when we get going. So um, I wanted to talk to you about what I've been doing um, uh, and the programme I've been taking, which is the Creative Visionary Programme with Nicholas Wilton uh, for the last 12 weeks, and we're now coming to the end of that this weekend. Um, but I also wanted to talk to you about what has led to me doing it and uh, what next after it. So um, hopefully you'll bear with me whilst I kind of go through those things. So um, until, so for the last few years, I've been uh, starting to develop my painting approaches but it wasn't really until the beginning of really 2019, last year, that I started to think a lot more about what it was that I wanted to achieve in my painting. I dipped into collage work, but I wasn't really getting into acrylic painting. And what I really had um, a need to do was to start thinking about um, presenting in my work my feelings about place, not just the literal views of, uh, that I was looking at. So I'd come from a drawing and illustration background and I really wanted to develop uh, my feelings about place and to start painting in a more intuitive and possibly abstract, semi-abstract way. So um, at the beginning part of last year I did several uh, workshops including a great uh, weekend workshop with Annie Luke Turner um, where, uh, in the lakes. Uh, where I started to really realise the opportunity for me to tap into my experiences on location and my feelings and then to sort of translate that um, into my painting work uh, and that's really where it all started. And then later last year um, I did uh, Louise Fletcher's uh, great 10-week um, online course called Find Your Joy and that was such a revelation to me because it started to get me thinking about what it is I wanted to paint, what marks I really love making, um, what it was that inspired me. And I really don't think until that point I'd been asking myself enough of the right questions in some respects. Um, so that was a really great start for me. And I was aware of Nicholas Wilton's uh, Creative Visionary Programme. And then as of uh, 12 weeks ago, um, I took the plunge um, to uh, make a start on uh, the Creative Visionary Programme. Uh, and and uh, at, the, at the start point, uh, we weren't in lockdown. So I was still in my studio and I had planned to, uh, obviously, to paint in my studio. Um, and when lockdown happened, we were just at the front end of the programme. Uh, so we were looking at what inspired us, uh, what our desires were in our art and our life, because there's obviously that strong connection between art and life, art to life, which is what Nicholas is known for. Um, and it was during that time that lockdown happened. So I was able to create these uh, big mood boards in the studio. And then when lockdown happened, I must admit, I did start thinking, how am I going to be able to do this? Um, as you can see, I'm in my back bedroom and actually it's made no difference. I've been able to work in here um, on uh, my panels. Um, halfway through the programme, you start working in series on panels. Um, and uh, at first I thought I'm just going to have to work on paper because I'm only in this tiny back room. So I did some of the first works on paper in black and white and with a limited palette, but then subsequently got my boards, got my paint and I've been working uh, in here and that's just been really good actually. Um, so, the, so let me talk about what it is that, the, that I've really found very helpful about the programme, what my kind of learnings are from the programme if you like. And the first thing I'd like to say is that it's just because I wanted to really paint intuitively and really be experimental with my work, uh, my struggle would always be, well, how do I make that into a good painting? And this is really where the Creative Visionary Program comes in, because it, uh, as Nicholas says, he's teaching you um, how to fish, not giving you a fish. Um, it really helps you to be able to look and assess your own work. Uh, objectively uh, through a series of principles and so you do look uh, in quite some detail at the key principles of painting tonal value uh, composition color texture 
all key aspects of making a good painting and about about creating difference in your work um, and uh, those things are so helpful because it really for me it enables me to jump back and forth well the whole point is with the program is that you are able to be intuitive um, and not at the same time you're able to think um, and and be more analytical and it's that dance between the two um, and it's just a uh, for me, as you can see with the panels, this is early days for me, but I'm, you, and, and these panels are not supposed to be finished panels, You're not, that's not what we're doing in the programme, we're exploring the principles and starting to learn, and I say starting because it's a kind of a lifelong journey, this play and interplay between intuition and experimentation, uh, and bringing that back in with a more thinking approach and it's that balance between the two that is 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 what it's all about really and that's what the program has given me it's given me that opportunity to be experimental and to play um, and explore because I know that through the framework I can uh, can bring it back together and of course it's early days for me so these panels aren't finished I think one of them might be the middle one with the red but the others are very much work in progress where I have been uh, using the learnings to develop to, to develop these panels um, and working in series is just so good because you take the learnings between the panels and it helps you to be more productive so for me uh, the, the, that is the, the, the big thing of the program that I've learned is uh, this uh, opportunity uh, to develop my work and to interrogate my own work and to be uh, uh, the evaluator so I can jump between these two things, as I was saying, um, and it gives me the confidence to move on in a more experimental approach and to bring the principles in. And that's just going to be an ongoing journey from now on in, really. And then the second thing uh, it's taught me about is really about myself and about myself in this art process. Um, I tend to be very hard on myself, very critical, comparing and despairing. It's no good. It's a complete waste of energy. And so really the only thing I need to focus on is comparing myself to how I was, how I'm progressing, how I'm developing. That, that is the only comparison. Of course there are people further on that you can hopefully be inspired by, but you just have to. When you feel, for me, when I feel myself thinking those things that are, ne are negative and not helpful, I just have to say, no, 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 this is a waste of your energy. Put it into improving your painting work. And that is, again, an ongoing thing. But having that awareness, uh, this conscious incompetence that I now have, is, is great. Because um, that is now something that I can use to help me um, and st stop wasting my own time, really. Um, so that's, the, that's the, the second thing. And then the third thing that really will lead me into talking to the, about the future, really, in my work, is um, this um, uh, being more like myself and learning and understanding what it is I want to paint and starting to develop that narrative in my work. Um, so it's exploring and having the confidence to explore those things in great detail that you're interested in to take into your work. Um, and I think through Louise's course last year uh, with Find Your Joy, I was really starting to get to thinking about that and about the background I have in landscape and design and my interest in materiality and collage and telling stories um, and you know the sorts of uh, the patina of things, uh, the materiality of things, how they feel, how they look, the patterns that exist in nature and in the world around us, all of those things. But having that sort of starting to really tap into those things that really drive you, that you love, um, and actually exploring those and then making paintings that are about those that are more about me and my feelings will make them more individual. So there's this, you're not worrying that you're going to produce something the same because you won't because your story is your story and it's very individual. So I think that's really the third, third learning for me is being more like yourself. Uh, not more like somebody else or more like this type of art or more like that type of art. It's not about style, it's not about that for me. It's about being more like myself and exploring the things I want to. And so that brings me nicely onto um, what I wanted to just uh, finish with talking about really is 
I've done this, I've, I've done this 12 week program. Obviously it's a start point for me, but it gives me these tools as I've been mentioning. So what next? Well, what next is developing more of my paintings, evolving these uh, paintings behind, uh, behind you that you see uh, glimpses of. But importantly as well for me is to start to looking at, I hadn't actually really been painting landscape. I'd been painting place to a point, but I hadn't really been exploring landscape, even though uh, that's kind of my background, it's what I'm interested in. I live up in the moorlands, so I have got this amazing uh, sort of resource and scenery. Um, I've also been fortunate enough to um, be set up for a, um, a, an exhibition in a couple of years time. So it kind of gives me now a focus. So now what I'm going to go back to do is to start exploring in sketchbooks and notebooks and in journals, which I do do, but in a more kind of focused way, really writing about it, it really start drilling into what it is that I'm particularly interested in and why and using sketchbooks uh, and collage and notebooks and writing and drawing which is a really important thing for me out um, in situ in the landscape uh, will be where I go with it and start bringing that in uh, to my painting work and, and continuing to develop my work in series. I wanted to give you a very brief tour of uh, the small room that I was uh, been doing my painting in uh, so these two boards that popped up are the two, uh, a couple of the boards I mentioned um, that we started with in CVP where we were looking at our inspirations for our art um, and also our, our desires in art and in life. Interesting that you can see breathing space there because that's a key thing for me. Um, and then moving on you can see um, the desk I was working on here uh, with my messy painting palette and that's one of the completed panels that I'm going to probably wax. Um, and further inspirations, I'm really interested in materials and textures and patterns and storytelling, so text in my work is quite important to me as well. And then I've been using a limited palette in creating my own colour mixes uh, using this limited palette and this is the colour wheel from that limited palette and some of the mixes are from that. And then down here on the table you can see different uh, brushes that I've been using but also quite a lot of other different things, wire walls, screwdrivers, scrapers, um, cards, uh, you name it, uh, anything I can get my hands on really that can be used in painting. And then over here is where I keep my collage stash or have done uh, with all different papers including uh, ones I create myself using a gel plane and you can hit, see there some of the things I use to press into the paint uh, to create patterns uh, and mark effects my different media and fixatives there. And then finally I just wanted to show you, um, I mentioned at the beginning of CBP uh, the first uh, works that we were doing, I was doing them on paper because I wasn't quite sure I could use panels in the room. Uh, so I've done some, some black and whites and also some limited colour palette um, works here. So you can see those down there. And then I also worked in my CBP journal uh, to create some of them initially.